KHR here. Thanksgiving is almost near and I thought uh, today would be a good day for me to show you a few uh, version of a centerpiece. To me Thanksgiving is using, uh, uh, coming from old and uh, presenting your heritage and also your good memories and everything that you have combining all these to give thanks for what you have what you who you are and where you are this is a samovar uh, i thought uh, why don't we just use samovar which is an old uh, uh, tradition of uh, uh, serving tea uh, but i have have this let's make this a centerpiece for some of the uh, uh, dining room tables, this may be too big as a centerpiece. So I will show you some smaller version of a centerpiece. Let's work with this first. And uh, this is before and I will show, you know, you'll see where, what I do with it when, I'm, when I get done with this. I have, a, uh, I like to always, uh, for occasion, especially for Thanksgiving, uh, to mix fruits with uh, uh, flowers. So, uh, this the idea of uh, having uh, f fruits and uh, flowers and also sometimes I make edible uh, centerpieces with uh, fruits. This one is going to be mainly uh, flour and uh, I thought of using some uh, uh, squash. So this is the squash I have. Okay. Put the squash here and then we'll go. I also have some uh, uh, persimmons. So which I want to use the persimmons. I'll put the fruits first and then I'll go and work with the flowers. With persimmons what you do, you just get the wooden stick and okay. What else I can use here? It's uh, Thanksgiving is because of the fall. I'm going to use some of the fall leaves. Make sure that your arrangement does not take over. We still, or my goal is to show the samovar even after I'm done. So I'm going to put my greens first. This not only you can use it as a centerpiece, you can also use it as a, an arrangement for the entry when you get, uh, when you know, inside the entry to the house. We want to use everything that we have from the summer as much as we can. These are hydrangeas, they are beautiful and I love hydrangeas. Here we're gonna use some Aruban lilies. bear grass. Don't think that okay now I don't have a samovar or I don't have anything of that sort. What Just create something you know just uh, go in the and dig something out and just go with it. See I saw now I have the hole here so I'm going to go through this. And push it like that, see? 
We have a leaf here. Just go ahead and cut this and to lock it, go back in another hole. See, you lock it right there. doesn't take long, it's just you can even take some flowers from your garden or from your yard. If you live in an apartment, then go and get some of your neighbor's yard. <laughs> I take leaves, uh, these, of course I got it from uh, flower shop, but normally I can get it off the tree. These are all eucalyptus skin, which I have. Now is the season they peel and then you can go and So make sure that the face of your uh, container decide where the face is and then you try to concentrate and bring everything to the face because that's where you will be, that will be your focal point. I like pomegranate, so I now try to use everything that is the season. Now pomegranate, persimmons, and these are all Thanksgiving, uh, the flowers that you use for Thanksgiving, because they are in season. And now that I have here, there's just, let's do, okay. That sometimes will happen, so go back and now I'm going to put this right in the center, right here. Just didn't say it didn't take long. Just only this will be also conversation piece everybody will ask you how it's done how you do, you did it you have a choice either you can put the this aside you can put it like this maybe you can use a pomegranate right there you know it's just how big you want it to be or how far you want to go with this For the, I try to not use too many flowers or greens that are uh, not in water, but uh, the green uh, leaves last long, so longer than flowers. So that's what I use since I don't have any, uh, I do not have them in water. Okay, I'm done with this. Just after you're done, just go around and take a look and make sure that all sides are okay, you're happy. Maybe what I wanna do, I wanna have
Okay. And So at every angle that you look at your arrangement, there is something that you can look at and it's, so just go around and take a look and see how beautiful this is in every which way. Okay, we're done. Let me clean these up so you can Take a look and see how you like the arrangement. And I'm also going to do a couple of smaller centerpieces. And I told you that you can do a centerpiece with uh, just fruit. This is something elaborate and something nice. Now let's say that you do have just a table, dinner table, and you want to have some flowers, but not much because your table is small. But at, you know, at the same time, you want to show off your talent. So what we will do, it's very important the flowers that you use. If the, your dish is too big, then you need a bigger flower. So what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to just put these flowers in the water. But because I do have the water there, what I will do, you can still put some of your fruits and things in the water, it doesn't matter. And make it stay so for this corner here probably I'll use something bigger if you let me see if that this how would this look see Just a few more bear grass. Just like that. Then you may just live by yourself and very intimate arrangement what you will do with that one is first put your green in
okay and this is another centerpiece for a smaller I hope you have a beautiful Thanksgiving make sure that Thanksgiving is for giving thanks for what you have not what you want and when you're eating make sure that what you get every day, your, what God blesses you with your uh, gifts of every day, it's not what you desire, it's what, what you should have. In Farsi they say that قضاه رو به اندازه اشتهاد بهت نمیده خدا به اندازه لیاقتت میده. So go and enjoy and make it a beautiful Thanksgiving and give as much as you can and love as much as you can. So love, give, and be happy. Thank you.